the announcement of the Water Duelist pack, well, we have to go look at prices for all sorts of water monsters that could potentially be in this Duelist pack. So guys, let's dig on the Market Watch, shall we? Smash your love and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. So Gladiator Beast, or excuse me, Cloudians. I don't know why I said Glads. I, that's so old. Ah. Hey, look, it's Eye of the Typhoon. Ooh. Wow. The first editions of these have been selling. 13 bucks, 14 bucks. Okay. Wow. Eye of the Typhoon has decent value among him, and I expect this to only get worse as time goes on here for the Cloudian Funball himself. Uh, Cloudian Sheep Cloud, on the other hand, over here. Another classic one. This summons the Cloudian tokens, by the way. See, a damage moved a couple of days ago, but one hasn't moved in a little bit here. Seen $10 down there for light play. Uh, wow. 14 bucks, 15 bucks is what you're basically looking at here for Sheep Cloud. You can't even tell it's Sheep Cloud, man. Like, it's just a blob on paper. All right, well, Cirro Stratos. Looks like these are going to the moon. That's interesting. Atlas, Atlas is a 12, what? When, huh, well, uh, Claudia and Biots are already a brewing. All right, between Cirro Stratos and Atlas, it was ridiculous. Acid Cloud is kind of cheap. I have still a dollar. Um, Sheep Cloud, why so much value? All right, well, I guess that's cool. I'm, I guess I can't say that I'm not surprised. These were going up a while ago, but to see the push on these now is a little bit interesting. Marincess cards. Well, you can get some seahorses here for 185 from uh, the verified there. Let me push on up here 200, 250, 270. All right, well, um, these $200 copies are in fact the cheapest on the market. For seahorse. Wow. All right. Marin says Coral Anemone, nine bucks. Uh, Pascal is still threes. Coral Anemone, three bucks essentially. Blue Tang, two dollars. Wave, dollars. Like, besides like the Starlights and what value that Coral Anemone has between its prints, that's not too bad, honestly, for Marin says hype. Uh, Legendary Fisherman, I found this kind of funny. The Speed Duel version's a whole seven dollars. Pharaoh's Servant, I don't even really care about. The Lost Art is like three bucks, by the way. Legendary Duelist here. Fisherman 2 is a whole $2 card. All right. And then Legendary Fisherman 3 is like two bucks. But uh, you guys seeing affordability here because I am, besides the Speed Duel version, but that's to be expected. Ooh. Ice Master. Ooh. Uh, let's see here. Oh, one of these really hasn't sold in a while. See, one, a near mint sold for $29. All right. I want to check that out in a second here. Huh, wow. Frickin' $50 for Ice Master. That's absurd, actually. Ice Queen down here also? This was from frickin' Sovar. Oh, man, it's been a long time and. Wow, one sold for $30 for Mod Play. Huh. I don't think that's going to happen for a while. All these Undims in the $14 range, by the way. For water support. Gotta love it, by the way. Uh, you're looking at $54 lowest? Holy moly, man. That's disgusting. Blizzard Princess. The only reason why I pulled this up. Um, this is a GX manga promo. These are 5 6 bucks, Hitting on up to 8 actually. That's interesting. Hmm, I guess old manga promos still do have, well, yeah, of course they have value. Uh, the White Aura cards, and the reason why I also pulled this up was because the White Aura stuff was from the manga, and it is a suspect for those potential upgrades here. So, the White Aura Whale, hey, you're looking at six bucks. White Aura Bahamut, four bucks. White Aura Dolphin, a dollar. Legendary Duelist Bahamut, 50 cents. White Aura Monocross, nothing. All right, like... Between all versions of these, super easy and affordable. Like, your manga promo down here for White Aura Behemoth, very, very cheap. All right, next up here is Ice Beast Zero Find. You guys know, I feel like I missed something here, but this is like a $2 card. All right, like, I understand this only ever had one printing, but to be $2, that was kind of interesting, actually. 
Oh god, shark cards. Oh no. Ultimate rare shark drake here. Oh, well, I guess. Look how that's like a secret rare version. Uh, no, it's it's ulti. God, that is horrible. The ulti quality in this set was poop. Are these really like 15 bucks? Like, are they more? 17 bucks for first ed? I see we start to push up after that. We're okay, we're 22. All right, that, that makes sense. All right, old alties do what they do best. They be worth money. We already know Bahama sharks are worth money. Uh, Nightmare sharks, nine bucks. Old Cyber Shark. I'm not gonna go into that. Man eating black shark here. Eight bucks. Um nine dollars on the regular Bahamut Sharks. So many shark cards in this game. <laughs> shark cannon. Uh double fin shark. This card's four dollars, by the way. A little cat shark. This thing's three dollars. What? Man, Shark Dragon. Huh, shark Drake here is a three dollar freaking card. I never thought I would see the day where Shark Drake is money. Okay. Wind up shark, he knows a dollar. Man, this old guy, he never really became worth anything. It's kind of sad, actually. Uh, Rimmerinian shark, whole like dollars. All right, well, that's, uh, I guess, doesn't really surprise me to see that this is the value that shark cards themselves have. Nobody really looks at shark. Poor guy. All right, well, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, I wanted to pull this up. Look at this, three three dollars all across the board here for this number thirty two by the way for the gold version. All right, aqua, aqua actress cards. You guys want a cheap deck? You want to roll the dice on for potential to have super copies? Look at this, ten cents, twelve cents, thirteen cents. All right, like all, all the monsters, penny stongs. All right, Mobius. Oh my God, Mobius the Mega Monarch. I'm just gonna look at the uh, the ghost rare for this. So the last one was fifty dollars an eternity ago. I see we have a light play there for forty. Um, wow, fifty bucks. Yeah, they really are fifty. All right, sure, man. Okay, so the evil twin buyout. So I get to revisit these again. It's like we've been following these all week. Um, Kiss you skill frost two forty now. Uh, Starlight low treats one eighty. Light twin lilas seventy plus now. Uh, to the moon frost five bucks. Villa Treats at two to fours. Oh, that, that's not what we care about. CR is 100 plus, going up to 160. We guys, we've been following this, right? Like, this isn't, everybody knows the stuff for money now. Villa CRs, 95. Oh, we're, we're rocketing right now? Okay. All right, sure, man. Kiss used to kills at 27 bucks. Oh, the Lilas are pushing up now at $14. You knew this was coming, all right? You, you knew the link for was gonna make this this deck has had such a low waifu tax on it for so long. It was the easiest buyout targets in the world for people. Utopia Double is still a nineteen dollar card. Who would have guessed? Alright, it's it's the key cornerstone for the Utopia deck. This card needs a reprint by the way. Utopia number ninety nine. Huh. Tin version is like eighteen bucks. Uh the regular copy of number ninety nine is actually thirty bucks. That's what the last one sold for. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thirty dollars for this bad boy. Interesting stuff. ZW Leo Arms. Oh, we've been tracking this guy for a little while. This is always kind of interesting to see here. Hmm. Twelve dollars for the ultras, the last versions that sold. I see thirteen down there for LP. But of course, uh, Ulti is up next. Uh, one sold for twenty-eight, and another for thirty. So these are still pretty much floating where they've been for a little while. $25 down there, of course. All right, 20 bucks. All right. Pretty pretty straightforward stuff with the ZW um, bigger monsters. Now, this is where the insanity starts. Lightning Blade here is a $5 rare from Cosmo Blazer. Uh, Tornado Bringer, two bucks. Unicorn Spear, 550, thank you, Starfoil. Uh, Sura Strike is three dollars. Dollars. Who doesn't love when your ZW cards are gaining value? Wow! Gizmet Kaku, the Supreme Shining Stars, are also starting to go up in price because of the anticipation for the new Gizmet archetype. I personally don't think that this is going to be all that impactful, but players seem to disagree with my logic. So we'll see where this ends up pushing. But six, 
10 bucks right now. What you're looking at right now for Gizmet Kakus. It sold nine bucks versus four to five dollars right now. Supers vs. Ultras. Not bad. Token collectors, uh, these these continue to jettison even higher. Alright, we are really anticipating this, by the way. Widespread room, by the way. This is the last thing for today's market watch. The the super rare from the EU Dawn of Destiny game here. The only ones available on the market are pure memes, by the way. I see here that we have a Dark Sage Super Rare as well. This card X looks really good. One heavy play for $400, one near mint for $700. Memes, gotta love them. So guys, what do you think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think. Smash your love, grab that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.